There is no denying that one of the hottest areas of IT certification and IT in general is cloud. In this episode of our IT Certification Weekly, let's jump in and talk about a question I get asked all of the time, and that is, how can someone go from zero to hero in the area of cloud technology? So one of the great opportunities that we have thanks to CompTIA and organizations like CompTIA is that we can begin learning about something like cloud from a vendor neutral perspective. So we don't have to dive right into Amazon Web Service specific solutions or Microsoft Azure or Google Cloud Platform or IBM Cloud or Oracle Cloud or Rackspace. All right, I'll just stop. So we don't have to dive right into a specific vendor technology. So if we were to use CompTIA as an example, and I have someone coming to me and they say maybe they have no IT knowledge, but they want to make $200,000 a year in cloud, well, I would say, okay, you're going to want to start out with the IT fundamentals training, you know, to learn about the different aspects of IT and how they play together. And certainly one of those would be cloud. And then, of course, move to like an A+, which is going to give you that great vocabulary about systems right down to the level of CPUs and RAM and all that fun stuff, and also operating systems that they're going to want to really know about. And then Cloud Essentials is a great starting point for this vendor-neutral look at cloud. What is really interesting about Cloud Essentials at CompTIA is that it is going to be a certification that as much as it is technical, it's more about the business aspects of cloud. And that's a really good thing for you to get a nice education on before you start delving into the cloud because you're always going to want to be implementing cloud solutions for your employer that are going to help them solve business objectives. We don't want to do cloud just because it's cool and everybody's doing it. So we want to really make sure we're tracking to the business objectives there. After the Cloud Essentials, you could move to Cloud Plus, which is going to be a big time deep dive into the various technical aspects of cloud. You know, migrations and choosing the right workloads and the way in which clouds work in general across all of the major vendors. Now at this point, and notice some of you will have skipped the IT fundamentals part and the A plus part because you already have the equivalent knowledge. So you're starting at cloud essentials and then the cloud plus. Now at this point, you're really well armed to jump off into one of the specific vendor certification programs. Maybe you know that you're going to be working for an organization that is heavily entrenched in AWS. So you would go down the AWS path and it's nice because they start you slow there with a cloud practitioner certification that is your first initial step into the world of AWS certifications and then you can specialize along a particular track. Many of the other cloud vendors follow a similar approach. There's that entry level certification with that cloud vendor, vendor to get you started. And then you start down much more difficult courses and exams that are going to be focused around a particular track. Maybe you're interested in developing for the cloud. Maybe you're interested in systems operation. Maybe you're interested in architectural design. So you will kind of pick your path as you go through the specific vendors. But notice it is always something to consider to get that non-vendor specific, that vendor neutral education in an area like cloud before you launch into the vendor specific. Something else about cloud that I want to mention in this episode is the fact that the more background you may have already 
in networking is going to be of tremendous benefit because these kinds of topics are very much assumed as you're working in the cloud. So you're going to be dealing with virtual routing tables. You're going to be dealing with virtual NICs. You're going to be dealing with your IP addressing and your IPv6 addressing. You're going to be dealing with all of these networking heavy concepts. And the more background you already have in that discipline, the more to your advantage. So when students come to me and they're like, I'm a Cisco CCNA and I'm a JNCIA. And is it cool for me to jump into cloud? I would say absolutely. And you've got a huge head start and you may want to consider starting with the vendor neutral certifications and educational opportunities that exist for you. So I'm sure you've got lots of specific questions for me this week. No problem. Use the questions area below and I'll get those answered for you as best as I can. Thanks for watching this episode of IT Certification Weekly.